This is the car park. It's a 300 metre walk down to Burke's grave site. As you walk the 300 metres down to the Burke's grave site, there's some beautifully interesting um, little notice boards up there from the Aboriginal history. And uh, it's well worth stopping and have a read to each one. You must understand our history and the Aboriginal history to understand the significance of the place. Site. Of course, he's buried in Melbourne now, and they dug him up and took him down there. Well, that's Burke and Will's grave, Burke's grave. And uh, there's right Burke to die here. There's plenty of fish in the river, plenty of food he could have had if he had to use the stuff he had with him. in a minute and we'll just have a bit of a look at where the carving was and uh, you look at the background here there's no need for anyone to die here look at plenty of water plenty of food carved on the tree and says this is a dig tree um, it was carved into that piece of wood there in the tree trunk but uh, you virtually can see nothing in there now only a little bit of writing. Um, if I have a look, I'll try to show you. See if you can pick it out. You can still see the, the line there. There's another line there, a V there, and uh, that's about it. So that's all that's left to the scar on the dig tree. And I would say by the look of it, it's only got a few years left now before it totally disappears. But that's your history. But this is where we are. Look at this. What a beautiful spot. Stores were. And uh, someone's carved the face of Burke O'Hara in it. And uh, I don't think... That was originally there. I think somebody's carved that since. But, uh, quite interesting. See if I can read them. Yeah, that's the, that's the campsite number. 1110. Oh, actually, I can't tell for sure. But, uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a shame. One of the big gripes I have nowadays is that uh, you go to these places and everybody wants to make money out of you. I have no problems if the money was going to employ the local indigenous people to work as a ranger or something there and um, give talks and etc. But when the money's going into the landholder's pocket, I'm not really in favour of it. I think it's wrong. <laughs> 